Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to Factorio. This is the fifth episode of the fourth season, and since last episode, I've hooked up all of the stuff that we need to start making green science. So, as you can see right now, we are making transport belts here at the bottom. We have some extra iron gear wheels coming in from a second array that I set up over here. Because I didn't want to use this one up top. I think that's going to be used for other stuff later on. We have full belts of iron plates. Because we have now activated four of these smelteries. And I've made sure that we have enough iron ore coming in from all sides. As you can see, all of these fields are now completely saturated with belts. Or, um, not with belts, with um, mining drills. So that we have a steady income of iron ore. As you can see, it's not even all being used very quickly. Because all the belts are backed up. So we might even be able to take half of this and start activating some of this stuff over here. But maybe once we start making more and more stuff in a more constant fashion... All of this is going to dry up, so maybe we shouldn't be too hasty with that. But anyway, we are now ready to start making green science. Which are, or which is going to have to be brought over here onto this belt right there. Um, now I was wondering where best I could do this, because um, I don't want to be too far, but I think we could get away with building something over here. Right, so we can just swing this around to this side and we can swing that around to that side as well. We will have a little array like this of 10 deep, and then we can then simply swing that over in this direction and, and go under, underneath these belts and then hook it all up. And I think that's going to be just fine. So, um, we're going to need some machines. All of these machines I'm going to automate at some point as well, because this is already uh, getting kind of annoying with having to manually make all of that stuff over and over and over again. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, we have this belt is three deep, but we need to place the blueprint first. Let's have a look. We're going to have a standard design, We're going to have the standard like this space, because now we can have one more belt running alongside here. And then we still have two spaces left for underground belts. I think that's going to be fine. Now, one thing we are going to need, of course, is let's see, we need to make one transport belt, one inserter. And that's going to be on each side of this belt. So we're going to do a little trick that I like to do. To even this out a little bit. We have two splitters. Oh, we already had them. We're going to split them over on the belt like so. And that makes sure that whatever is on the belt gets divided up a little bit more evenly. Because this... Oh, it allows for better throughput, basically. Because now we can put four items on the belt instead of just two. Which means that these items will be used up quicker. But, uh... Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, it's something I noticed myself when playing. Um, sometimes just having that connection of just two pieces of um, item onto a belt is, is not fast enough. But with a, a splitter on top, it's going to be a little bit faster. And there's going to be less of um, a break, basically, in, the, in how the items are distributed along the belt. So in this case, I think what we want to do here is we want to start going from this direction so we know exactly the height that we need to be, like so. And then of course, we are going to have to get this stuff from over here. And again, maybe later on we will use this differently. Maybe we want to start using this block to get inserters over here, and then we can use this block of inserters to power these two, and I think that would work out in, yeah, a little bit more nicely. But for now, this will have to do, because we haven't set up the other block. <laughs> but we can switch, you know, this is a, a basic change around, you know, you just tear up some of these belts and then, um, yeah, replace them somewhere else, and that's pretty easy as far as, you know, tweaking your factory goes, because sometimes, you know, you really have to pick up a lot more when you see a certain problem that you don't really know how to solve any other way. But this will be fine. All right, so naturally we're going to have to set all of this up. A good thing about having these uh, inserters, we don't have to craft them by hand anymore because now they're automated and we have a pretty decent supply of them coming in, I think. Right? Oh yeah, there they come. I was like, what's taking so long? But it's some distance they have to travel, I guess. Right, so we have the 10 machines. 
I'm going to finish setting this up and I'll be right back. All right, so this is all set up. We can now select the green science packs and as before, we will simply copy and paste this over into the other machines. And then we can hook that up to this area right there. So let's see, we're just going to follow along with the green uh, belts right there. Let's just switch over like this. I think this is about the proper height. Yes, it is. Cool, and we have green signs coming in. We might need to get a few more of these arrays because I'm, yeah, these belts are quite slow in being made, I think. Let's see, we need to go around like so, like so. Do we have an underground belt? No, we do not, but we can craft one pretty easily. All right, green signs coming in. Research is going to be started. Let's see what we can do. What do we want to get first? We have gun turret damage one, which will be okay. Um, advanced material processing, I think will be much better because then we can start working on steel and uh, stone bricks are already being made as well. We can make steel furnaces and these are a little bit better at smelting and getting these earlier on, I think will be quite effective. On the other hand, we have electronic electric energy distribution, which would be quite cool to have. A lot of the, all of these things would be cool to have, basically. And we could also get um, military two, which gives us piercing rounds, magazines, grenades, and military science packs, uh, which will give us access to laser turrets that only require electricity. But these are going to require some other things that we don't have, like the oil and stuff. So that is it something that's a bit more of a long-term project. You could start get started on oil. I don't really want to do that quite yet. Um, you know what, let's go for something basic like gun turret damage one, because right now our, uh, uh, we're not being attacked all that much, I don't think. Right, let's uh, swing that one down a little bit. Oh, and one of these things was being damaged, okay. All right, so another thing that we might want to automate at this point is underground belts and splitters, because we're going to need a lot more of them. And right now I'm noticing maybe we didn't leave enough space to get another array of this stuff. Maybe we should have changed it around a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. Because it would be nice to have another array like this, right? It would have been. So we could do that. We Because uh, I think this is not going to be enough. I think we're going to need more. But maybe, just maybe this will be enough. I don't know. Let's see, we are going to go for underground belts first. We need iron plates and transport belts. We have iron plates coming in from over here and we can put a splitter on there. That's some underground belts. And let's see how that works because I don't think we're going to need a tremendous amount of these. At least I don't think so, I don't hope so. So we're going to get this blueprint right here. And let's see, how do we want to do this? Because we need... Oh. No! Oh my god! That's a crazy amount of biters. And we just finished doing this, man. Come on. We just finished making this stuff and already it just got wrecked. Alright, so we need some transport belts. Quite a few things got destroyed. 11 objects, 9 belts. Yeah. Oh, crap. That is not what we want. Yeah, so that's what we needed. We had a light that was destroyed, which, which we are going to replace. And then we're going to make some turrets, I think. Because, yeah, this is annoying. Alright. This is all set up again. Let's repair some of the damage that's being done. And while the turrets are being made. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> Almost destroyed a little arm there. Oh boy. Alright. So this is going well. <laughs> Let's 
get 100 in that one, 100 in that one, and we will get 62 in that one. Cool. So maybe we want to swing this around a little bit. Like I said. Because we're going to need this space to get another array of uh, underground belts, I think. I think that would be the best thing to do here. And also this needs to change a little bit. Which is also easily doable, I think. Or actually, no, because we I've made plans for this stuff to swing around. Or we can still swing that this way and then go around again, yeah. Alright, so that's fine. But I need this space to be free right here. Right, and we need this space to be free. And I basically everything needs to go down just a little bit. I should have, and this is why, of course, you know, you need to plan this stuff out a little bit more because you do run into this kind of problem, which is really annoying. Oh no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Just kind of thinking of all the stuff I have to do and change and fix, and that is not it. This is it. Want to place that one right there. Alright, and then we can place these things down over here. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Maybe you can even go down like this and then around. I think that will be even better because now we can put a splitter on here and then swing that over to this side. Maybe that's not going to be enough, but maybe it will be. I don't know. We're going to have to find out. And then, of course, we need to hook this back up. And the only thing that's kind of annoying is when you get to stand on one of your transfer belts and you start moving around and then you misclick on the stuff that you want to make. <laughs> yeah, and you can definitely see we are going to need more of this. Like, we can, we can use a second array of this because this science is pretty slow. Actually, it's kind of backing up there, but that's only because we have four of these uh, research stations, which is not a lot. Right, so we're going to have a second array of uh, these things, I guess. And then, of course, we are going to get... Let's see, what, what, what would we... For underground belts, it was easy, I think. We needed iron plates and transfer belts. But we need quite a lot of them. So in this particular case, I think it might even be better to get our second blueprint. Which is set up like that, with the extra belts. Because that way, we can kind of divide the stuff that we need on different places. Right? Um... We could do it like this. We uh, we have a yeah. I think that will be fine because we can get a splitter over here. We can get some underground belts. We can run it along this side. There we go. And this belt is not really being used for anything other than this part. So I think we will be okay with using this belt for this stuff. Actually. Let's go down by one. <laughs> that way we can leave as much space as we need. Alright, so we have another splitter. We need another splitter and we need some underground belts. Right, so if we get the splitter right there. We will divide it up. And then we need another underground belt right there to go underneath here. Because what we'll do is uh, get rid of this tree. These kind of barren trees, man, they're kind of hard to see in the desert. <laughs> we want to switch that around in this direction. Like so. And then we have a lot of these belts right there. Let's see, what, what do we need more of? We needed more iron plates than transport belts. That is perfect. That is really good. 
and I'll show you why in just a second because we're going to replace the orange inserters with blue inserters because they're much faster and then we can get um, two red ones on the other side and that will pick up the pace a little bit I think and this is one of those arrays that can end in a dead end I think no that should be fine but let's see we are going to create uh, we already have eight left we can make 10 long-handed inserters or 20 actually is what we're going to need we have so much stuff to cut down you know what i'm going to do this in my free time but first let's um or not free time <laughs> i'm going to do this while i'm doing something else but first let's research advanced material processing and then i'm going to keep building this up all right so this stuff is now being made um oh we need to change this around <laughs> no that was the wrong button we need this right click last click on all of this because we have the fast inserters in the middle we have two red inserters for the fast belt and then we can see this fills up quite quite quickly now and if you do like the crafting time is okay it is almost one to one almost not quite but it, it's pretty close and this like i said could be a dead end because this is not being used for anything else i think or at least not for a while because at some point we're going to have to use this to create um, the red version and the blue versions of it. But for now we can just put it into boxes and uh, that will be fine. So let's get some inserters here. Let's put this one right there. Well, and we don't need a lot of this. So I'm going to limit this to a single slot each. Because otherwise it's just going to be a big resource drain. Which we don't want. Alright. And as you can see it's still keeping up with this manufactory right here. This is fine. But I do notice that my electricity is going down. We are not making enough anymore. So we're going to get two boilers. Four steam engines. We're going to get two boiler inserters. We're going to get some pipes. And pipes are something else that we're going to have to increase at some point. Yeah, I think my factory is shaping up quite nicely. As you can see it's already quite sizable. But it's still, well, pretty decently put together, I think. Like, we're not running into any kind of uh, problems with space at the moment, which is great. Let's see, we're going to leave one space in the middle there for the pipes. We're going to get the inserters. We are going to get some steam engines. And at some point this is going to be a problem again, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Right, there we go. Got the light in there. Yeah. That will be fine. Let's see, how is electricity looking right now? Right now it's okay. It's okay. Oh, but look at this. <laughs> we are going to have to go to war pretty soon. Because we are reaching several bases which you know isn't news because we knew we were being attacked already but now with the exit pollution coming in from this let's get a few more i guess let's get two more of these we still have some pipes i think actually no we don't and we should get some iron plates because i'm all out So now we have that again. <laughs> All right. So we can have about 40 of these on a single offshore pump, which will be just fine. After that, we can simply double it up with another offshore pump. But probably at that point, we will have access to, um, to solar panels. And that will be clean energy, which I would much prefer. Because this makes a lot of pollution. Alright, so we got this hooked up. We can hook up this stuff. This one needs to go off the left a little bit more. We get one more light. And then we should be good to go for a little while longer. Yeah, okay. So at this moment we're basically producing 50% or we're losing 50% of what we're making. So we can basically double our production now from what we have already 
and yeah that is going to happen oh look at this all of this green science man we, we can get some extra laboratories because because this is quite slow we can get four more laboratories i think that will be fine um another thing that i wanted to do was of course to make splitters splitters are using iron plates electronic circuits and transport belts yeah <laughs> So to get that, we need another splitter over here, I think. Um, we're going to need this same setup. Damn it. What was being destroyed? A turret was destroyed. It was too many. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. Maybe we should make a wall. Just around the turrets here a little bit, so that they have some space. Now, the, now they have something they have to breach before they get, can get into our walls and destroy my turrets, will, which will give my turrets a little bit more time to do what they need to do. Later on, we're probably going to remove that bit of wall. We're going to place a turret back here in case we're trying, or in case aliens try to flank us. Now I don't have any ammo of my own anymore, which is problematic. 60 in that one, 90 in that one. All right, put half back in that again, put 23 in this one for now. We're going to have to get some ammo at some point. And preferably we're going to automate all of this with ammo going around our factory. Because we're going to need it. I don't want to keep running around manually, you know, that just is really annoying. All right, so. Got some long-handed inserters. This side and that side, and then of course the regular inserters. Gotta get rid of this. There we go. Double the research speed. All right, so I was going to copy this into a new blueprint because this is a slightly different setup from what we've made before and that is something that needs to change so let's see let's zoom out just a little bit and i guess we don't need the boxes in there we we just need all of this basically all right um assembly 2a I guess because I think we already had an assembly too but this is a slight variation on it so we're going to copy that and then we're going to leave some space two spaces three spaces in the middle I guess or one space yeah I don't know what's wisdom here now we need to switch it up just a little bit I think because we need the belts underneath yeah so it's slightly off to the one above, I think, just by one tile, which is sort of annoying, but we have to deal with it. Right, so what are we... We're lacking copper and computer chips to make that stuff. So we're going to soak up a bunch of these so we can make 10 more of these. Now all we need to see make is iron gear wheels. Actually, let's cancel this. Let's soak up some iron gear wheels as well, because that is not something I want to craft by hand all the time. So there we go. Now all, all we need to make is the assembly machines and the other stuff. Which means some splitters, some underground belts. Or actually we don't need to make the underground belts, so that's stupid. We're making underground belts already. There we go. 56. <laughs> Things are finally getting a lot better for us, I think. Alright. Um, no, I don't see a clean way of getting the iron from that side to this side. So what we might do instead is get rid of that and then in that case we don't need this either but we do need to look at the ratio right so let's get rid of this for now to make this we need four transport belts five electronic circuits and five iron plates so it's all about equal which is hmm how are we going to do that I think we might even have to change the setup a little bit more to make it really efficient. 
we're going to have to make a new design based on what we're already making but um yeah let's see and let's um do a lab research speed i guess because what i'm thinking is i want three belts one belt filled with let's see iron plates one belt filled with electronic circuits and one belt filled with transfer belts but we cannot have three belts along this side because the long-handed inserters won't reach that far so we are going to have to run that stuff through the middle there i think and in order to do that efficiently i mean yeah we could run it along here i guess with underground belts that's kind of ugly though but i think that might be the most or the best way to do it yeah i think that's what we're going to try yeah that's it right so we're going to get a splitter right there and we have space to go around like this a little bit which is fantastic get rid of this tree for later right so now we have an underground belt we can kind of hook this up like so and of course we can get another splitter and actually let's make 10 splitters by hand because we're going to need it right then we need iron and i'm thinking we could get the iron going from the other direction so we can basically kind of swing this around damn it transport belts and trees getting in my way right because this stuff is not going to be made constantly so we can use or we can afford to use that iron from this side and then of course we're going to get the iron belt from the other side as well to join in on the party uh like that yeah <laughs> get rid of that tree and that tree damn it tree is pushing me out of the way you need to go right and we're going to drag that one around and nope not quite this way we need to go down by one like so yeah and then we can get this stuff to go around this way this is the first time i'm making this design by the way so i'm not sure how efficient it's going to be but i think it's going to work out quite nicely Right, so now we have all of this. Now all we need is green computer chips. And the green computer chips can be split off from here. Take an underground belt. Bring it around to this side. And basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to get... Let's see, can we make that fit? Uh, no. Ah, that's so annoying already. <laughs> So all of this needs to go to the left by one, I think, or this needs to go back a little bit, if we can. But we can, we can, we can just kind of, you know, take this stuff like that, put this over here. Basically, we're going to have to create some more space for ourselves. so and yeah we don't really have that kind of space to work with over here i guess we'll do it like this see if we can use that later on because we need the underground belts so let's get a splitter off on this side bend it down to right there we can get a splitter or an um, underground belt right there Right, there we go. Right, so what we now need is we need to get this stuff going like this. And it's a bit of an expensive way to do things, I think. But I think it will work out nicely in the end. So let's see, we were going to do the same thing on that side. 
Like I said, I've never done this design before. I'm hoping it's going to work out. But we'll see. Um, no, we're, we're going to have to split it over on this side. Because we don't have the space to do it right there. So we're going to get that splitter right there. I want to get rid of that tree. <laughs> we're going to get underground belts. Like uh, We need to um, get rid of this one for just a second. We'll get the underground belts. Go right there. Damn it, that's not going to work out. How do we want to do this? Right, maybe... This is a puzzle, man. But it's my own puzzle, which is great. Maybe do a split right there. This one can go right there. And this basically needs to go the other way, which is... Um, you know, maybe we need to do the split up here. Not down here, because we need that space for the underground belts. First, let's hook this up so we know exactly what kind of space we have to work with. Right? Right. And we can make this split up there instead as well. So we don't have to do it here. Right. Make this keep going. And this needs to uh, bend down in the end so it doesn't run onto that belt. Right, so we need it to go like this. We need the underground. Yeah. All right, and this can continue in this direction. That's it. Yeah. Now we can get this one over here. Yeah, that's it. So we can have the center belt. Of course, we need to uh, make sure that this can run all the way through. Let's also get research. Let's do military too, because that is done quite quickly. Yeah. So now we have this. We're going to need a lot of blue inserters. Or, yeah, blue inserters. Let's see. We want to craft some by hand. Let's do 20. Not sure how many are lined up just now. Crap. A few more, I think. I didn't look at the bottom, but we are going to need a few. So, we're going to get blue ones on this side. We are going to need 20 of the red-handed inserters. We're going to get some of these over here. And then we can get blue ones on the inside, who will grab it off of these belts right there. Right, and then we can get the orange ones to take this stuff out. I think this is going to be a great design. I have a feeling. <laughs> Alright, and we need 40 of these actually, because we need about 20 on all sides, I think. So I'm going to get a bunch of these. Two per machine. We have 20 machine or uh, yeah, 10 machines, so oh, we needed 20. But now we have some for the future. So that was about right. Alright, so we're going to continue hooking this up like so. And of course we need them to have uh, power in the center there. Oh, look at that. But we need to make something else. We need to make the splitters. Because right now they're still outputting some underground belts. But look at this, man. It's working so fast. And it work it's working perfectly. Oh, this is such a cool setup. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What else do we need? Wall section? No, uh, gates? No, we don't 
need gates. We could do oil processing, except no, let's do gun turret damage. Later on, we're going to get faster belts so that this throughput will be a little bit better. But holy hell, man. Look at this. It is glorious. Now all that is left to do for us is to put it into boxes. So we're going to get... Ah, that's not quite working out, is it? Because then it's going to run onto this belt. <laughs> that's annoying, so... Um... You have to go right there, I guess. Yeah. This will have to do. Get some boxes. Now, later on, these boxes will, of course, be replaced with a red provider chest so that robots can access them and bring this stuff to me. But for now, this will do. There we go. Awesome. This is really cool. All right. We've been playing for a while now, so this is going to be the end of my video. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.